Hey everyone, Living in Furnace here, and welcome back. We got a Hoot Hoot, perfect, great. I, oh, this is a wrong Pokemon, but that's fine, I, I don't really care. This is like my fourth or fifth attempt at this, because things, like, I, I just, I just want things to go right, and there are things that go wrong, and I don't like that. So, first we're gonna have to catch a Pokemon that can fly. Somehow, Hoot Hoot can fly, even though its wings are so small and its body is so big and puffy, uh, bulky. But, um, it actually can use fly once we get fly, which is not too far ahead, so we will need this. So, it is gonna be <clears throat> ironic, uh, ironic that it will be flying us around, but yes, it will be flying us around. Second order of business, we have to talk to this guy, because there's a hidden item up ahead, and I'd prefer to know where it is. So, this guy gives you the item finder. The item finder will, um, when we use it, and when there's a nearby hidden item, uh, the, uh, the item finder will make a sound and point us in the direction that it is in. And there's a very valuable item up ahead. <clears throat> so we are going to get to that. And with that, we are ready to head off on into the next route. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, I really should actually have Jackal Ogus up in front, because I do want it to get some experience from these trainers. I can probably... Uh, that's a bit inconvenient, but that's fine. So, uh, here is Route 38. Routes 38 and 39 branch off in many places, and quite a few trainers are hanging out in the two roads. They're using flying... Electric, Grass, and Water-type Pokémon, among others. Moo Moo Farm is along the way, and one of its mill tank is ill. You might want to help it out. <clears throat> so Chonks here is my best Pokémon, so he'll be handling things. Uh, here's the rival. Um, rival battle in the tower, burn tower. Um, I think that's a muck, was it? No, no, that's Haunter. Graveler versus Haunter. We got uh, Suicune. Yeah, there's Suicune for the tower. And uh, Ho-Oh, which can be in another tower. Got nice and bright. There's Miltank, which can be found in this route in the daytime. And Magby for some reason. I guess you can find a Magby or something. I don't know. Kind of odd, but whatever. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> oh, my throat. Alright. World class skill. Yes, indeed. Um, I guess I better just go on ahead. Uh, let me see here. So, this next trainer, I'm gonna have to maybe do some strategizing with. Because I do want to get Ditto some, or Mistaken, some experience. And it can work with this trainer, but in a certain way. You'll see. So, she starts off with the Flaffy, electric type, you know. Uh, the thing is, is that if I transform into the Flaffy, the attack that I can use on it is just going to be super weak, so I am I have to switch to something I can do some damage, maybe burn the thing, and then I can uh, transform, and then I can be ready for the next Pokemon. So we'll just 
burn it, or ember it a couple times. There we go, got a burn too. It might... Okay, so, um... It's gonna be defeated this turn. Not the best situation, but at least mistaken we'll get some experience, I guess. Whatever. Unless I can get Screech from this thing. That would be interesting. Uh, I can disable that move. There we go. Um, Scratch might do a little bit of damage. We can Tail Whip and then uh, Scratch ourselves. And now we can't disable, but that's fine. It's actually a little surprising because uh, Disable is kind of inaccurate in this game. Yeah, come to think of it. I'm going for it. Just one more scratch. Yes! Quick Claw has come in handy. And my hair is not so in handy because it keeps falling to the side here. Oh well. Alright. <laughs> Good job, Mistaken. I did not expect that. Alright. I'm going to go up this way, but first I'm actually going to... Make a save, uh, I guess here, like that. So this guy is interesting in that he has a move that I want to sketch. The problem is, is that uh, he might not actually use it. Um, we got a Mr. Mime. Alright, let's just make another save game, there we go. Let's go for the sketch. Okay, he did the barrier. Perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Barrier will greatly increase defense. I was thinking of getting... So let me switch out. Um, Infernus, yeah. So, at first I was thinking of getting Payday from a Meowth, but the Meowth in this route are actually too low level to have Payday. Then I thought, well, maybe I... I, I went to uh, Mount Mortar to the uh, to the east, and I thought, well, maybe I can get a uh, different move. I checked out um, uh, Golbat, and Golbat has Screech, and I thought that would be a good idea. But the thing is, is that Screech only applies to one enemy at a time. If I'm if I have one Pokemon out there, and I'm going up against multiple enemies. I want, I want the benefits to retain, to be retained throughout the battle, so... Uh, hey, Infernus, if you don't mind, thank you. Alright, well, we got a burn, too, that, so that's, that's cool, I guess. Um... I could just try to, like, just hang out here and hopefully not get defeated. Let the burn, uh, do its trick something on my keyboard oh dear it's it's going for it all right I think I have to switch out I have to switch out uh, pollen I guess pollen can take a couple hits You gotta be kidding me. It's only a 10% chance, and it still happened. Okay, well, we got the tackle in, so that's that's fine. <clears throat> no, you did not. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh, I thought he was a psychic. It's actually a schoolboy. That's kind of odd. Um... Do I really want to go up against the next trainers at this state? I guess I should. At least this one. So, um, 
I think this this uh, this woman has. Um... Oh yeah, this this is the one with the, with the grass types. She's usually kind of in the middle where the where the, where the tall grass is. Wait 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 where the where the tall grass is. And um... <sighs> and uh, you know she can be in the way, but in this version she's over here. Usually there's a bird trainer over here, but uh, now the bird trainer is in a different spot. Alright, I'm going to switch over to Jacko Ogus to get some experience. And we're getting up to level 21, so I won't have to be going back and forth training too much. Skip Loom is not a threat, so I don't have to worry about doing the switch back and forth. Chunks can definitely take those hits. <laughs> and dish out the pain. Getting up there in level, for sure. I think I'm gonna keep going on. Fight this trainer too. And then I am going to, um, <laughs> to heal up. Yeah. Hey pal, how you doing? We have a bird trainer. Or a bird keeper. It's got some pretty unique birds, actually. Come to think of it, I don't think we fight these often, or any other place in the game, come to think of it. We got Doduo. The other Pokemon can definitely not ta uh, take these on, so we are... It's best to just use chunks. Uh -huh. Oh, the schoolboy, you can actually get his phone number if you want to battle him again. I, I wouldn't really recommend it, because... Yeah, there we go. We got another sketch. So... So there, we can go to another battle and use that sketch on an, another move. Ugh. And in that case, it'll be more fortunate, because I'll actually go first. I'll be faster than my opponent. So that's, uh, that's going to be going all right. There we go. Headbutt that thing out of here. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna just head back. Alright, we're past this guy again. Oh, there's that trainer. I forget what this woman has. Um... Whatever, let's just go for it. Actually, you know what? Let's have mistake and go up against it. Just, you know, just for the fun of it. Get some experience out there. Another beautiful woman to battle. Let's see what she's got. One Pokemon. Oh yes, a Corsola. So, a funny thing about this Corsola, and I think we're actually going to find out here, although it might have it. So he's got Harden. Uh, oh, it does have Recover. So I think some other Pokemon up ahead can find can have Recover. It, recover is a po is a move that I do want Jackal Ogus to have, uh, especially if I can get some barriers up. And that way, if I'm up against some physical attacking Pokemon, you know, Rock types, Poison types, maybe I mean, you know, Poison can get in the way, but uh, Rock types, Ground types. Um, normal types, you know, uh, then I can just do that and keep on recovering and be okay. But I, you know, for now, uh, this is not a good idea. I should go to Chunks and dig into this thing, because it is a rock type. <clears throat> Somehow, you know. <laughs> it's it's kind of like, um... Come to think of it, I don't... I don't really remember any rock types that aren't really rock, you know, this is like a, um, you know, this thing is like coral, you know, so it is hard like rock, but it's not really rock. <clears throat> um, maybe I should glare first, yeah, maybe give it a turn or two where it can't attack.
<coughs> there we go. Okay. I was afraid that that would take too long, but the fully full paralysis happened. So there we go. 